Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, in Declutter Week, we are going to be going through all of my lip products, including liquid lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, lip care products, and bullet lipsticks. For someone who doesn't wear a lot of lipstick, especially recently, I've really been just reaching more for chapsticks, I have a lot of products. I have three of these drawers filled with lip products. I have this tiny drawer here, which is just like my lip liners and some lip care. I have this filled with lip glosses, just lip gloss. And then in this organizer right here, I have like most of my bullet lipsticks and mini lipsticks. Now, if I'm gonna be strict with myself here, I can, I need to get rid of at least half of my collection. This is just too much. And I know some of these are probably, if they're not already expired, they're gonna be expiring soon. So I, I just need to be harsh and just get this down. We need to cut it down. Let's start with this little box of like lip care products. This is actually an eyeliner sharpener, but it just lives in there. I have a lip exfoliator that I don't really use, but yeah, you know, I need to be harsh. This is actually gonna go, this is from e.l.f., but I never use it. It's like the bullet lip scrub. Bye bye. These two I never use either. These are both from the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose line and they're supposed to be like lip gloss or chapstick, but they don't feel that great and they look weird and they're not completely, sh it's weird. So that can go. Uh, these two I got in a mini set of the Agave, uh, basically I think it was just like the Agave mini set from Bite. So I have the, the actual like pot mask that I'm using for my lips now and then I've got like the little kind of bullet chapstick thing and then I've got the actual agave lip mask here. I really like these products so I'm gonna keep those and then in here all I have left is literally like the bare minimum of lip liners. I have like one deep nude or two deep nudes but one's more pinky one's more nude. I have a pink lip liner. I have a super nude like this is basically my lip color in a lip liner. These are from Urban Decay. I got these on sale. This is from, I think, Milani. This is a Marc Jacobs. I got in a mini kit literally years ago. Um, I have one Kylie lip liner, and I'm gonna keep it, cause I'm gonna keep that Kylie lipstick, and I'm gonna tell you why when we get to the actual lipstick. And then I literally have one red lip liner. So I think that's actually a good minimal collection right there. Let's do the next smallest set and do lip glosses. So I personally don't really wear lip gloss that often. And I got a lot of lip gloss for a gal that doesn't wear it. All right, let's see. First of all, I have to pull this one. This is the Dior. Uh, it's got a fancy name, but it's basically a lip gloss, but it's so pretty. This is one of the prettiest lip glosses I've ever tried, so I have to keep this one. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is the Marc Jacobs Mini. I've had this for way too long, so I'm sure it's gone bad by now. It's in Sugar Sugar. It's a good color, but I just have like... It's just, it's just been too long. I think I need to get rid of it. So that's gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say the same for this Fenty one. This is the Gloss Bomb lip gloss. I, I mean, it's a good lip gloss. I barely touch it though. And I think it's probably going bad. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, this one from Shop Miss A, this is the Oh Honey lip oil. I really like this one. This is newer, so I'm gonna keep this one. This Becca Glow Gloss, I honestly forgot how I got it. I must have gotten it like in a set. I think, oh, I did. I got it in a set when I bought my backup highlighter. My favorite highlighter is the Royal Glow Highlighter and I was able to get a backup in a kit with the gloss. I don't use this. This can go. This Elf and Alicia, Alicia, <laughs> Alyssa Ashley collab. It's honestly a beautiful gloss, even though Alyssa is problematic as shit. But this is a pretty gloss. I need to keep this one. Next, this is a pretty nice nude gloss from uh, Wet n Wild and this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Caught You Bare Naked. So this is a nice one. I'm gonna keep this one. And then NYX, this uh, NYX Butter Gloss. I gotta see. It still smells decent. This is actually, I really like their Butter Gloss collection, so I'm gonna keep this one. So not bad. We got rid of three lip glosses. Now I only have five. I think that's a decent collection. All right, let's move on to one of the bigger drawers. Here we have most of my Fenty lipsticks, Wet n Wild, and a couple of the black lipsticks I tested. So right off the bat, I know these two 
from Wet n Wild and this black lipstick from Fenty can go. Back when I filmed my first black lipstick video, this one won. It looks good in person, but it looks shit on camera. <laughs> and I found other lipsticks by now that work good in person and on camera. So the three of these can go ahead and leave. This is one of my new favorite uh, black lipsticks. This is from a pretty zombie cosmetics yeah this is from pretty zombie cosmetics and it's the lipstick in black cat this is definitely staying this can go this is a wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit in behind the bleachers it's it's not that great honestly my three go-to uh wet and wild liquid cat suit shades are these right here we have nudie patootie um what is this one missy and fierce and my tried and true rebel rose so these three are like my go-to shades from wet and wild this is gonna be a little harder i don't know if i want to get rid of any of these i love all these shades you know I, I can probably get rid of this one so this is the shade uncuffed and this is kind of like rebel rose but like a little pinkier so i don't need both i love these two this is the coral and this is the pink shade I have to keep my closest nude, which is unbutton, and then of course the original uncensored is gorgeous. This brown one, do I want to keep this? Are there? Any this is gonna be a maybe. I'm gonna start a maybe pile now, so I can see if I have any other shades like this in my collection. But these two, definite yes. Oh, and this is so much better. This is what this drawer looks like now. All right, moving on to this next totally full drawer. Jesus. Hmm. These two can go. These were like free gifts with purchase that I like never used. These are bullet lipsticks from Makeup Revolution. Those can just go. I've got these. I've got a hot pink lipstick, so I don't need to keep this Jeffree Star one, so that can go. I'm gonna keep this green lipstick, because honestly, uh, I got requested to do a green lipstick video, and I'm pretty intrigued, and I already owned three or four of them, so that's the reason why I'm keeping this one. What is this one? Calabasas. I think that's a little close to this YSL shade. Uh, they're not the same. I'm gonna get rid of Calabasas and keep this. I honestly, like, these are expensive from YSL, these, like, lip stains, but they're awesome. I honestly, I love the formula. I love the packaging. I love the applicator, too. Look at that applicator. These are just so good, so I'm definitely gonna keep these two, and I think these are the last two I have left. I think I had one more. Don't know where it is. It might be in another drawer. <laughs> okay, so this one, this Ma MUA Makeup Academy one was actually recommended to me from a co-worker. So I think I'm gonna keep this one, even though I don't really reach for it that often. I really like this. This is from Stila and it's like a nude uh, lipstick in Carmelo. It's really pretty. And it's a mini. I, I do prefer minis when it comes to lip products. And I'm gonna get rid of this tar Tartiste lip paint. I think I got this in a box of some sort, but it's really dry and I don't use it. Alrighty, let's look at the rest of these mini Jeffree Star ones. I think I'm just going to keep... Well, do I really need to keep any of these? I have a bright red, so we can get rid of red rum. Let's see, should I swatch these? Ooh, that's deep and pretty. That one's just meh. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of um, Wifey, and we're gonna keep Unicorn Blood, because it's that deep shade right here that's really pretty. Let's see, we got two lipsticks from YSL. These are also minis, do I? Yeah, so this one's like a really kind of blah nude. And what are you? A deeper nude. Yeah, I don't need these. And I'm pretty sure they were just a, like a point perk from Sephora, so these can go. Oh, we're doing good. Okay, let's see. This is my only Dose of Colors liquid lipstick, and I got it specifically because I wanted to try out Dose of Colors. It's a nice warm nude. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It's my only Dose of Colors lipstick. I have this one from Besame Cosmetics, and honestly, it was uh, way too pricey for what it is. I mean, it's a nice red lipstick, but it was just too much money. This was like nearly $30. So this is more of like a display piece than anything else. So I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see. This is a Fenty Mademoiselle in the green wasabi shade. I'm definitely keeping this for that green lipstick video, which isn't going to come anytime soon. I need time to find some more green lipstick. So don't expect that anytime soon, but it is going to come eventually. And then this e.l.f. liquid, not liquid, this e.l.f. bullet lipstick in touch of nude. I was looking for, there was such a good 
nude lipstick from elf that was in the black packaging and they discontinued it and this was the replacement and this is like my perfect nude nude so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold on to this one and i just decided to get rid of the maybe lipstick this is gonna go Ugh, i'm doing so much better this time than i did in my last declutter my goal is to get it down to like two drawers if i can well actually i can probably combine these two now look how perfect that is now it all fits into one drawer we literally got rid of like half a full drawer ah this is awesome all right and our last drawer is this one i know we're not going to be able to get this all the way down <laughs> but my goal we've already hit my goal basically was just to make this down to like two drawers so let's see what we can go through in here all right so in here we have a lot of the black lipsticks that i had in my black lipsticks videos that i'm really only keeping for those videos so i think we can get rid of the ones that i really didn't like like this smashbox one in tar pit i didn't like that one i also didn't like this mac one i liked this juvia's place one so we're gonna keep the juvia's place this sephora one was just like okay so i'm gonna get rid of that one this Ofer run looked really pretty when I first applied it, so I'm going to keep that like for pictures and stuff. I can't wear it all day, it doesn't look great that way, but it looks good in pictures. And this Marc Jacobs one, I'm so upset that I paid so much money for this black lipstick that is just blah. <laughs> and it's my first full Marc Jacobs lipstick, which, uh, goodbye, it's, it's gonna go. Gonna be harsh here. All right, let's see, this, oh, I've got an AOA lipstick, so I'm gonna keep this one. This is the closest nude, I've actually been wearing that quite a bit. This is a green lipstick from Kylie and matches that lip liner that we saw before, so I'm gonna keep this again for that green lipstick video. I think I actually have like, more than like half enough to do that video, so we shall see. Again, another green lipstick. This is a different one from the mini from Jeffree Star, so I'm gonna keep that for that video. This is technically a green. It's like an olivey green. Let me know. Would you guys want to see that in a green lipstick video? Or do you want something that's more bright green? Something along the lines of like that. Well, actually, let's look at the Kylie. Because the Kylie is more like an olive kind of green. Well, that's a bit brighter. So that's the Kylie. So we've got different shades here. But, uh... I don't know, I'm not sure what you guys would want to see from a green lipstick video. Uh, this is another AOA lipstick. I bought a whole set and I never did lip swatches, so I should do those lip swatches. Uh, da, da. Okay. So, uh, Too Faced has been through some shit, and this is a limited edition, limited edition. Uh, this is a gingerbread girl, and it looks cute, but I know I have other shades like this in my collection, so this can go. The Jeffree Star Black lipstick is actually pretty good, so I'm gonna keep this. And this is the only white lipstick I own. I wanted to have this to use with, like, liner. I wanted to do, like, white liner, even though, like, I suck at it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this, too, because I don't even own another white lipstick. You know what? These two I picked up just because I didn't have anything from the brands. This is an ABH liquid lipstick, and this is an Ofra liquid lipstick. I know this one looks close to Rebel Rose, and I have got Rebel Rose, so I don't need that one. Let's look at this Ofra one. That's a pretty color, but I think it's trying. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this one. Whew, doing good, doing good. All right, so we've got these two Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks, and I don't really like these. I remember, uh, I think Taylor Wynn and a few other people have, like, talked about how much they love these and how they last all day, but on me, they're just really dry and they don't really last, even though they are pretty colors. But I have these in other formulas that work better for me, so I'm gonna get rid of both of these. All right, and last in this drawer, we have what's left of the uh, Physician's Formula Healthy Lips that I own. And I love this bright red. This is Fight Free Reticles. This is really pretty. Um, oops. Let me see. This is, I think, too close again to Rebel Rose, so we can get rid of that one. Let's, ow, I almost broke a nail. Let's try this red. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. And then I think this is the closest to nude. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep those two. Oh my god, we did so good. We got rid of like half the drawer. So this is what we are left with in our drawers. And we did empty out an entire drawer. So now all we have left to do is go through the bullet lipsticks. And I might, I don't know, I like having them on display, but 
it might be smarter to keep them in my drawer. So this is all that we have left to go through and I might, after going through these, put them in that empty drawer. All right, we are in the home stretch here. Let's see, let's go through these first. These are my most recent additions. These are the collaboration lipsticks with Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop. And there's one I know I can get rid of because I'm never gonna use it. This is Brucey. This one, I don't think I'm going to wear. Well, actually, should I keep Brucey and get rid of Screamer? Because I know I wouldn't wear Screamer. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Screamer because I really don't like the way that it feels on my lips when I do the lip swatches and when I tried it on. So we're gonna get rid of that one and I'm gonna keep the other three, which include Fred, Mrs. Norris, and Brucey, for now at least. <laughs> I have the other nude shade bikini bottom in my drawer. I'm actually gonna go through probably at the last bit because I'm not gonna get rid of them, rid of any of them. The lipsticks I have in my everyday makeup basket, so that's actually there right now. So, moving on with ColourPop, let's talk about the rest of the ColourPop lipsticks I have. I, oh, I have the black lipstick in Aeronaut, which is actually an okay black lipstick, but not the best. Though when it comes to black bullet lipsticks, this is probably the best one, so I'm going to keep that one. Let's see, this is Uno Moss, which is just a nude, which isn't... Eh... I think I'm only keeping it because I have the other ColourPop one. So it's it's not a spectacular nude. It's not the worst. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is Boy, which is another nude. This one's more nude. Like this is like a concealer lips nude shade. And I don't really have anything else that nude in my collection. So I'm going to keep this one. Let's see. And then next we have On Display, which is a hot fire red. And do I need another red lipstick? I have so many red lipsticks. This is going to be a maybe for now. We're going to put that in the maybe pile. And then this is Foolish, which is a deep kind of red. I don't need this one. It's like a brick red. This one can go. I'm doing so good. I'm so proud of myself. I keep like patting myself on the back, but I really am doing good, guys. I swear. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I have a bunch of minis next. So this is from um, Urban Decay. And this is the Cream Lipstick and Fuel. This is actually isn't in a mini. This is a full size. And I actually really like this nude shade. And I love the packaging. It looks like an actual bullet. Like, oh, I actually love this. So this is going to stay. I have these two ABH lipsticks. And honestly, like, ABH isn't my favorite for, like, bullet lipsticks. So I think this is Kiss Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I have not liquid lipstick, bullet lipstick. And I never use that. And I think this is Dead Roses. Yeah. And I also never use this. I bought a whole mini set thinking I would use them from ABH, but I don't like their lip formulas. I just don't. So those are gonna go. So this is a mini from Fenty, and this is in Griselda, and if I can open it, this is actually a beautiful deep berry shade, and I love the way it looks. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. Next, I have a couple of YSL minis that all came in like that same Sephora rewards box of a thinger. So this is just a red. Let's swatch these. Ooh, that pretty. Okay, let's see you. How pretty are you? Holy shit, that is gorgeous. Okay, those I think I'm gonna have to keep. I love me a good red lipstick. And this is, ooh, this is hot pink. Hot pink. Oh, that's sheer though. Hmm. I have another hot pink, but I don't have a sheer hot pink. Do I, do I need this? This is going to go in the maybe pile too, but the two red lipsticks I'm going to definitely keep. All right, this Tom Ford one I have to keep. It's a mini in uh, Indian Rose. It's like a beautiful shade, and I've actually like used half the mini already. It's beautiful. Oh, I have to keep this. I don't think I would ever buy a full-size one. These are like $50, but this mini is beautiful. Next, another mini I'm going to keep. This is from Marc Jacobs, and this is just the nude shade Cream and Sugar. And it came in a set with the lip liner and the lip gloss. And it doesn't smell off, and it's... Wait, does it look... Oh no, I think there are little bumpies on it. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. I think there are little bumpies on this. Oh, I should get rid of this. Yikes on trikes. So fun fact, those YSL ones actually stain because guess what they're lip stains 
So anyway, yeah, that's another reason why I want to go through these is because I have all these lipsticks and if I don't use them, they're going to go bad like that one. So shame on me. This is from Burberry and this is a beautiful shade. And it's actually really pretty and sheer. Okay, I'm going to keep this one. Next, I have a full size from MAC, and I actually got this for free with the Back to MAC program, where you bring back, like, a bunch of empty MAC containers, and you get a free lipstick or an eyeshadow. So this is the Flesh Pot shade, which is just a nude shade, and I'm, I gotta keep this. It's my only full size MAC lipstick. <laughs> and last but not least, we have this MAC Mini in the shade Velvet Teddy, which I can't tell if he has little bumpies on him, but... I mean, that's a pretty shade, but I can't see. I think it just scratched up on the sides. Yeah, it still smells good and it swatches nicely. So I think I'm gonna keep that one too. All right, so this is everything that was left there. I think I can probably organize this a little better. There, like that. And then I think I'm gonna keep both of the maybes. So this hot pink one from YSL. Actually, the on-display one, that red lipstick from ColourPop, I think I'm going to get rid of because I have plenty of red lipsticks. So this is what's left in our final drawer, and so I emptied out this display thing. All right, and then just to review them, these are the lipsticks I had up in my everyday makeup basket that I'm reaching for the most recently. This is from Jeffree Star, and it's the shade... What shade are you? birthday suit. Not my favorite, but it's a good nude shade. I then have two of the Sophia collection lipsticks from ColourPop. I have Bury Me in lipsticks, which is the one I was most looking forward to, and then I have Bikini Bottom, which is that nude. I have this black lipstick from Black Moon Cosmetics, and this is the shade Sleepwalker, the winner of my most recent black lipsticks video. This Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks, I, lipsticks, <laughs> lipstick I got in my Try Beauty box, so I'm still testing this one out. Along with this, this Wander Beauty lip set, I actually really like the color on this, and I love that it's like a combination lip liner lipstick. So I've actually really been liking this one, but this one, I don't know if they threw this in as a free gift for my first box, or if it was a mistake, because it wasn't listed on the card <laughs> at all, and I don't know what it, like, how I got it, but I actually really like this. And last but not least, I have this new lipstick from Melt Cosmetics. I was dying to get this. This is in the shade Golden. And I've worn this in a few videos, and you guys have really liked it. And it's like this, like, mustard yellow shade that I think looks really unique. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these ones. All right, and I hope you guys can see in there, these are all the lipsticks we decluttered. Ugh. Should I dump them out? So we did it. This is everything we decluttered. We decluttered at least half of my lipsticks, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this declutter. Let me know down below how you feel about declutter week and how you feel about lip products in general. Are you team bullet lipstick or liquid lipstick? Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.